Chapter 2, Lesson 1 of Pre-Calculus, we wanted to spend a few videos looking at quadratic functions. And again, a lot of this will be review. We'll talk about it a little bit more in depth, but most of this is review and things that we've done last year, so you should be fairly familiar with this. A quadratic function is a second-degree polynomial, we've, and so that means that the highest exponent of any term is the x squared or the squared term, so that would be a second-degree polynomial. The shape of these graphs are parabolas, and those parabolas can open up or down. Later on this year, we will look at conic sections, and actually these parabolas can open sideways as well, but for right now, we're just going to um, look at the ones that open up or down. The vertex is the most important point that we'll be looking at, and the vertex of the parabola is uh, on the line uh, that is the line of symmetry of the parabola. So if you drew a line, vertical line down the middle of the parabola, the vertex would then be on that line. And the vertex is always the highest or the lowest point of the parabola. It will be the lowest if it opens up, it will be the highest if it opens down, and that is the point of interest for us. So most of the algebra and the graphing uh, solution things that we're finding are going to be calculating the location of that vertex because that's where it gets applied in the real world. We're usually looking for the maximum uh, volume or the maximum profit that we can uh, get or maybe we're looking for how to minimize cost or minimize um, you know number of students or something like that so that vertex that high point or low point is the point of interest and so all of the calculations that we'll do will be in an effort to be able to locate and calculate what that point is the axis is the line of symmetry, which I talked about a little bit earlier when we were talking about the vertex. The vertex will always be on that axis. It will always be on that line of symmetry. And that line is a vertical line because we're only talking about parabolas that open up and down. So uh, if you can calculate the location of the vertex, you can also calculate the equation of that axis or that line. It will be a vertical line, so the equation will be x equals and then whatever that x value is of the vertex. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus, plus c. And um, f of x is equal to x squared is the parent function or the simplest form of the function. And then what we're going to look at in the rest of this video is uh, at the transformation of this function uh, using the transformation skills that we learned last year and which we've talked about earlier this year where you move things right or left, up or down, reflect them over the x-axis, y-axis, vertical stretch, horizontal stretch, shrinks, all those things. So we'll be looking at those in the rest of this video. We're going to take a very short look at um, transformation of a quadratic. And the transformations, you remember, we've covered uh, last year and we talked some more this year about them. But you remember the horizontal shift, right or left, will show up next to the x. We replace the x with x minus c. The vertical shift up or down then shows up as a separate term outside uh, of the x. And then we talked about a vertical stretch being when we multiply the entire function by a value c and a horizontal stretch where we replace the x values with the quantity x over c, whatever that, where c is the uh, factor of the stretch or the shrink. So when we're looking at the original function of x squared and we want to describe the um, transformation in order to graph, we just need to look at those transformations and then we can make a quick sketch of the graph from those transformations. So if you imagine this graph, uh, you remember of a quadratic is the x squared graph. This would be the parent graph. So if we wanted to graph these new equations, which I'm going to show you, what would they look like? So g of x is now a x minus 3 squared plus 5. So what's happened to this original function in order to produce this function? And remember again, inside here is a horizontal shift. So because this is a negative 3, the shift is the opposite way of that. So that's in the positive direction. So this is going to be a shift right 3 units. And then this number outside here is the vertical shift up or down. And this number will be exactly what I see here. So positive is up. So this will be a shift up 5. So a quick sketch of this graph would then be 
where I take the parent vertex 0, 0, I move it to the right 3, and I move it up 5, and that is now the new graph shifted, and this would be the equation. So again, by looking at these transformations and recognizing them in the graph, we can make quick sketches of the graphs without having to go through the process of creating a table or some other method. So let's take a look at the next one. Here we have 1 fourth x squared minus 1. So what's happening here? Well, remember, a number in front of the x squared is a vertical stretch or shrink. So this is a vertical. And because this value is between 0 and 1, it's a vertical shrink. And you remember, a shrink is going to widen the gap or widen the, the, the scope of the, uh, the parabola. And then this negative 1 is outside here, so the negative sign is a down 1. So you could take that graph, again, of the parent. You take the vertex, and you go down 1. That's going to be the vertex. And then a shrink is going to make this, rather than being like this, shrink, imagine pushing down on the inside, is going to force this more apart. So it's going to make it look more like this. So a quarter shrink might look something like that where the parabola opens up a little bit wider than normal. Let's take a look at one more example here. So I have this example, g of x is equal to 1 half the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 3. So again, let's take a look at each one of these transformations separately. This half is in front of this, so again, this will be a vertical. And because it's a between 0 and 1, again, it's a shrink. So a vertical shrink by a factor of 1 half. The number inside here is a shift right or left. So this is positive, so it's a shift in the uh, negative direction, actually. So this would be a shift left 2. And then this out here is a shift down, negative sign 3. So you could take the parent function, make a quick sketch by taking the vertex, moving it left 2, moving it down 3. And then because it's a shrink, this is going to be open a little bit wider than normal, so it might look something like that. And again, the idea here is to get a quick picture of it, not to get an exact representation of it. So don't get tied up into thinking, well, is that exactly one-fourth, or is that exactly you know, one-fourth or one-half shrink, or what's exactly? Don't worry about that. We're just trying to get a, a picture of what it would look like. So that's how we can, by looking at the equations, get a quick pictures of these uh, graphs and what they might look like in the coordinate plane.